Rethinking Defense. Why the U.S. Needs a New Strategy Now. Brian Clark and Dan Pat critically analyze the concept of deterrence by denial, a defense policy long favored by the Pentagon, highlighting its growing ineffectiveness. This policy, prominent after the Cold War, is under scrutiny due to the evolving nature of global threats, especially from nations like China, Russia, and Iran. The authors assert that the strategy is increasingly ineffectual, with adversaries undeterred by the risks of denial or punishment, as evidenced by Russia's invasion of Ukraine and China's activities in the South and East China Seas. The strategy's inherent vagueness and lack of clarity are stressed, calling into question whether denial truly imparts certainty or instead sows the seeds of uncertainty. The strategy is also criticized for being aimed at the wrong audience, being more focused on convincing U.S. defense officials and Congress of its efficacy rather than intimidating potential aggressors. Clark and Pat argue that this approach distorts U.S. force design, concentrating more on brute force and neglecting other possible aggression forms, such as cyber and information campaigns. The feasibility of implementing deterrence by denial against new, unconventional forms of aggression is also questioned, calling for a different approach to counter gray zone operations effectively. This approach's inadequacy is showcased in its undermining of U.S. credibility by demanding rapid, massive losses, potentially leading to catastrophic escalation against nuclear-armed opponents. It also imposes disproportionate costs on the U.S. military and seems to be cheaper for opponents to counter. A significant point is raised about the strategy creating more predictability in U.S. defense plans, instead of creating uncertainty for the opponents, which is crucial in modern warfare scenarios. The authors advocate for the retirement of deterrence by denial, citing its outdatedness and the changed global scenario since its inception. A more nuanced approach, focused on targeting adversaries' vulnerabilities and undermining their confidence, is recommended. The authors acknowledge the Pentagon's recent successful application of integrated deterrence in the Indo-Pacific but emphasize the need for a long-term, evolving campaign to keep adversaries off balance. The 2022 National Defense Strategy is highlighted for its de-emphasis on denial, leaning towards more progressive approaches to create uncertainty and costs for potential aggressors like China. The article concludes with a call to Pentagon leaders to undertake the arduous task of describing and implementing innovative approaches that can effectively deter potential aggressors in the contemporary global landscape. That's it for today. To stay up to date on AI Plus Military, don't forget to subscribe.